after trying this morning's uh, tasting, the trends that have come up with what I've noticed is that there's a lot of deep fried elements. There's a lot of like beignets or cromeskis with braised meats. Uh, I've noticed pressure cooking. A lot of uh, contestants are using the pressure cooker, which is good to see, but whether they're using it in the right context. And then another one's uh, fluid jellies. So it's a jelly that's been blended to look like a puree or taste of the texture of a puree, but not cloying and fatty. So it's, uh, it's been really interesting seeing that. It's funny you say that because there was a load of um, fluid gels and, and you know, liquefied jellies on the dessert side as well, but not necessarily used in the best in the best way. Like some were too acidic, some had too much fat or, or, or you know, an imbalance of fat um, on the overall dish. And some, sometimes they were using more fresher ingredient, but unfortunately they weren't necessarily treating them or understanding how to cons get consistency across the flavor of, say, for example, berries. So what we're generally looking for is that, you know, they can, they can deliver two or three balanced dishes depending on which, which competition they're doing. And the Young Chef is only two, and the Seniors is three. But understand that they can deliver, you know, three good dishes which are balanced uh, for, for the entire menu. I think what we're looking for in the competition is like, uh, one is the skill set, uh, how they're using the, the knowledge and skill that they have and they're showcasing that skill. And they're not bringing in a lot of products prepared done. Yeah. So that actually you've seen that as a judge. And then also how they work clean and tidy and neat. Uh, and then also their thought process of the whole dish. Yeah. So we're asking them as we go around, we ask the contestants, you know, what, you know, how did you come up with that dish or why, why have you cooked it like that? So you're getting as much information out of them as possible so you can judge them properly. But it's always good to have this kind of story behind the dish. Yeah, I mean, the other thing that you should always remember is when you're creating your dishes or coming to competition is to remember what portion size you need to actually produce so that you're not taking a whole fillet and you're using two thirds of it and throwing it away and we're seeing that or you're making so much chocolate mousse you could do ten glasses versus three or four that you that's required so it's understanding how big the recipes need to be how uh, technical they are and how much skill you can show on the day without you know without getting yourself in the uh, in the muddy water